You have absolutely no right to tell me who I can and cannot be with. The hell I don't. You are deliberately trying to hurt your brother. But what? But what? It's okay for him to destroy my life? It's okay for him to steal my job at Crane Industries? Hell, you're trying to help him. Crane Industries is as much a part of Chad's birthright as it is yours. Now, Whitney is not a piece of property. She was your brother's fiance when they were forced to break up. You moved in full steam ahead without regard for anyone else's feelings. That is not true, Julian. How could you do this, honey? You loved Chad. I'm your daughter, Mom. Why don't you try being on my side for a change? He's my son. I don't want either one of you to be hurt. Yeah, aren't you a little late for that? Now, you will stay away from Whitney. Like hell I will. You know, the entire time I've been in love with her, I never made a move. And I kept my distance. I acted like a perfect gentleman because I respected her relationship with Chad. I didn't try to break him up. I didn't even let her know how I felt about her. But you were playing her. That is not true, Chad, and you know it. Well, he was always around. Because we were all friends. If Teresa hadn't have told me how he felt, I never would have known. Until the minute we broke up. Exactly, Chad, you broke up. Because you found out you were half-brother and sister, remember? You have been taking advantage of that because she is upset and she is vulnerable. You have been manipulating her. No, no, Julian, that's not true. I don't know how else you got here doing this. Because you just got over Chad, and this is just not like you. Manipulating and taking advantage is your M.O., Dad, not mine. I didn't flash money in front of Whitney or fancy cars or fine jewelry. I didn't get her hooked on drugs so she'd sleep with me, and I didn't get her pregnant and then leave her once I'd had my fun. But you did. You did all that and more to Dr. Russell way back when. That's how this whole mess got started, and now here you are standing here, all these years later, still not taking responsibility. You're projecting your guilt onto me. It's Psych 101, Dad. Except I'm not the user and abuser here, you are.